All right, YouTube. And everybody out there, gardeners. Um, this is a special update video that I want to do um, on neem oil. So, before you watch this video, go back and check out the neem oil video that I, I did last time. Okay, so this video is going to be basically a, a basically a scam. Well, I consider it a scam uh, as far as neem oil. Okay, so I went to Walmart because I was looking for neem oil. And I purchased this right here in the last video. Neem oil, right? And you see the big word on there? It says neem oil. It's big. So you're thinking, okay, I'm buying neem oil. And it says right up the top, organic gardening. Right there. So, when I bought this neem oil, I'm thinking, okay, cool. So I bought it, I went home, and I showed you the video how I mixed one, one tablespoon and a half with one and a half teaspoon of uh, Dawn detergent soap, and I mixed it and I put it in my sprayer. But, I looked on my plants, and I noticed that the neem oil was not working because I had Japanese beetles, I had I had uh, the horn the horn um, horn nose caterpillar, the green horn nose caterpillar, and some other uh, pests still munching on my on my leaves. I walked outside one day. And I saw right here. This is on my eggplant. I saw a Japanese beetle right here chewing out, chewing those holes on it. And that's after I sprayed it with the neem, with this neem oil right here. And my, even after I showed you the video, I actually took the sprayer by itself and I sprayed the plants with neem oil, just like this. I just sprayed the plants down. Okay. I did just like this with it. So even though I even after I, I showed you in the video, I actually did this with the plants, put the neem oil directly on there. So today I came outside again and there was a I noticed there was a the first time I ever seen one, a vine borer moth flying around my plant. I was just putting this hay on the ground in front of me. I just came back from Home Depot and bought some more hay. And, and I looked up by the zucchini plant right here. I saw it flying around the plant. It was just flying around the plant. And so I looked at the bottle of this neem oil. And right here, Look at the ingredients. Look how much neem oil is in this bottle. It says active ingredients. Uh, hydrophobic extract neem oil, 0.9%. Other ingredients, 99.1%. In other words, it's less than 1% neem oil in this bottle. This is a scam. So what are the other 99.1% ingredients? But look at the big words, neem oil, neem oil, see that? So I went to Home Depot today and I bought another neem oil. And here it is. Now let's look at this neem oil. I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure this is gonna work because when you're planting your gardens in the ground and you're growing, you're expecting, you know, the neem oil that you press spray or, or you put on your plants to work. Because there's a lot of work, you know, going into these gardens. You don't want your, your, your vegetables to be eaten up and your plants to be eaten up by bugs. So we take this very seriously. So when you look at this one, it says what? Let's look at it. Right here. Active ingredients. Hydrophobic extract of neem oil, 70%. Other ingredients, 30%. Totaling in 
So you can see this neem oil is, is really neem oil. It's like 70% neem oil. Now this might not be the best one still, but what I'm telling you is that it's way better than this. Which is 0.9%. It's not even 1% neem oil, but it's got this big word up there, neem oil. So I just want y'all to, to, you know, before you use this neem oil, before you go, make sure you check and see what's in the bottle. Because, like I said, I had these insects still munching on my leaves. And I had just sprayed and I showed you in the video. Now, I'm not going to do an another neem oil video because this is the update to that one. Maybe I will do one. I don't know. Maybe I just remix it all over, over again using this one instead. Maybe I might use this one instead because the video was still, what I did was correct, you know, the percentages and people have different percentages that they use okay so you get some people use a tablespoon of a tea of a you know of a dawn or or some type of detergent some people use a little bit more some people a little use a little less and like i said there's no right or wrong way to doing this but what is wrong is this right here this is wrong this is wrong because this is not neem oil i don't know what this is Okay, so this is just a quick video update for y'all to be cautious and be careful. When you go and buy your neem oil, make sure you know what you're buying. Because if you could be using something that's not even neem oil. I mean, 99.1% of it is something else. Less than 1% of this is neem oil. Yet it has big words, neem oil, neem oil. You know, so that's just my little quick update. And I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Oh, and I want to show you what I caught. I forgot about that. So, um, because the neem oil didn't work, let me show you what I killed, what I pulled off my plant, plants and killed. Look over here. Right on the table. Right there is a horn nose caterpillar and right next to it guess what that is the vine borer moth look at it now it's a different color now because I liquidated them with this I couldn't find them at the time and I was in the backyard and I saw it flying around my uh, zucchini plant right here so I grabbed this and I shot it out the air and I knocked it on the ground right here but when I looked at my plants, my zucchini plant, there was an egg. Let's see, with my fingertip right here. There was an egg right here. And there was like one more little egg on there. I should have probably uh, showed y'all that. But at the time, you know, when you're out here, when you're out here in the garden, and you see that, uh, that vine borer, I didn't want them to get away. Because I know that they could continue to keep laying eggs. So I had to get it. And I did get it, okay? So, and, 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 and one more point. Again, that was after, that was after I sprayed these plants down with neem oil, as y'all saw in the video, and even went behind these plants and sprayed it all with that, uh, that spray bottle. The, I found these, uh, those pests on my plant, all right? So, just make, make sure you know what you're getting, all right? And again, there they are. Vine borer moth, dead. Dead. And I did kill the Japanese beetle. That's the wind blew him off too. But they're dead. But not because of neem oil. Or not because of the, the one I got from Walmart. With the less than 1% neem oil. Because that was ineffective. So I'm going ahead. I haven't tried the new one yet, but I'm going to try. I'm sure that's going to work because that's 70 percent neem oil. So it's probably it's potent. Anyway, that was my quick video. Uh, that was my quick garden update. 
We planted the blueberry bush in the yard. See it? That's probably gonna have to be on this video. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Take it easy. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification, hit the bell for more videos to come. All right? Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. But really quick, there's the there's the Japanese beetle right there. There's the Japanese beetle I found munching on my leaf after I sprayed the neem oil on there. I got him. I found this one, and I found the vine borer moth. Okay, I got all three. Anyway, that was my quick update. Y'all have a nice day.